rice sector in Thailand and generally is very much affected by climate change. At the same time, uh, rice production also contributes significantly to uh, the climate change uh, challenges we have because of its de emissions from methane, mainly because of its flooded rice production, but also because of uh, rice straw burning, leading to a very large scale uh, emissions of CO2. The Thai rice project is exciting because of its way of transforming the rice growing um, sectors in Thailand. Together with the partners and the government, um, our uh, substantive grants and the a significant amount of co-finance that that grant is unlocking will help create that first step towards a full change of the rice sector by growing rice differently with better access to finance for the farmers. We're getting the service providers access to the farmers to really work with each other to be able to unlock these different techniques that exist, scale them up, provide new techniques and at the same time really change the way rice is grown. We're working in the project also with several research organizations to come in and identify what can actually be done and create a new market for rice store recycling, upcycling. You also have um, what is called alternative wetting and drying. And we are also unlocking access to uh, integrated pest management that relies on biological agents, control agents, that can help control some of the uh, pests and diseases that we find in the rice fields. And by having that integrated into our way of uh, having better water management, we create an ecosystem that is also much more green. So you not only have less emissions, but also greener uh, rice fields um, and also higher quality crops coming out of that system.